going to do a uh, headlight bulb and ballast on the left hand side 2017 Lincoln Continental she was blowing fuses unplugged the headlight she don't blow a fuse I don't know what else is out there so I got a headlight and a ballast and we're going to replace those this is the uh, bulb in the box here and the ballast there I ordered these supposed to both of them be new this doesn't look very new but I suppose it is probably aftermarket some but uh, that's the ballast this is the bulb let's get on with it I'll take these rivets out or screw type rivets out here all the way across under the uh, rubber here take this whole panel out across here I don't know there's probably a dozen of those uh, push rivets holds that panel in once you get all those uh, push rivets out this thing just lifts out some screws across the top of the uh, bumper here we'll go ahead and take those out six of these little Torx uh, Torx heads across the uh, front of the bumper on the top they got that loose and uh, and I think we got to go around in here behind the tire and get a couple of screws that hold this together up here. Maybe we can pry that out far enough then to get the headlight out. Wheel cut all the way. You can see three of these uh, push rivets in an inner panel, inner uh, fender liner here. We'll pop those out and see if we can't get to those screws. Once you get these uh, clips out of this fender liner, and pry it back and uh, there's a couple of screws up in there to take loose yeah thought I could just pry the bumper out but it is fully dropped onto the floor now I should build access to headlight bolts there was one screw up in here there was one screw down below and one screw up top Got a few harnesses to unplug. Maybe we can get this girl out of here. Ballast set right here. Those two plugs plug into the ballast right there. Ballast is on the bottom of the headlight. There's our back of our light bulb. Yet to get that out. One thing at a time. Once you get this uh, pulled out of the hole here, which is pretty difficult, and this cable here is plugged in the side there then you got to take this apparatus off here with these two screws and install onto the new bulb back those screws out there this is the old bulb not too concerned if I touch it Pop that little guy off. Slide that out. And then uh, this slide out from under. That ridge there I probably won't be able to film this going back together because I have to be careful not to touch the glass on the new bulb got the new piece slid onto the bulb there now just put the uh, plate and the two screws in there okay I've got the uh, both screws in there. This thing rotates. It has some locking keys now. I gotta plug this in and stick it back in the housing. We've got the electrical connector back onto the bulb. Now we gotta fish it down into the hole carefully and then lock the retaining collar. But second thoughts about plugging it in first. I think I'm gonna get it down in there and lock it over those ears before plugging it in. I was afraid I was getting a bulb against that uh, metal in there. I'm sure I did, but 
I'm afraid I would damage the bulb. So I'm going to try to put the bulb in there first and then hook this connector up to the side of the bulb. Upon inspection, I think this uh, is rotated here correctly now to the unlocked and indexes everything correctly. Then when I get it down over the indexers, I will push that around and it'll rotate that little tab will rotate square up against the uh, side there. And that was the case. As you can see that uh, tab right here is up against the side of the square bulb. Push this back. Rotate this knob portion that way clockwise. Now all I got to do is plug the electrical cord back in. Okay, we got the bulb back in, and she's pinched tight. I don't know what moving these electric motors does for it. I had to move it back and forth a little bit, but uh, it's in there. We'll hook her up and see if she works. Place this uh, boot dust cover that goes over the access opening there. That's all proper, properly seated. Now we'll set it in there and hook it up and see if she lights. Appears to have resolved the issue. It was uh, popping fuses. First it lasted almost a week, then a day, and then was instantly popping fuses. I didn't know if it was the bulb or the ballast. I knew I was taking it apart. I was going to replace them both. Let's button this thing back up. So far so good. Just put all these clips back in. Everything back in reverse order. A row of bolts across the bottom of the bumper. Little seven millimeter screws. The worst one's putting uh, back in. There's two eight millimeters up here and one seven millimeter. On the passenger side, the seven millimeter is difficult with the washer fluid tanks right there. It's really tight, but uh, just got to tighten up the uh, ones across the top of here. Hold the bumper in and put that splash apron back in. Put this row back on here. Before I put the splash apron back in, I'm going to check the hood fitment there. Got all my tools picked up here. Got to put the fuse cover back on. It was that was my initial cause uh, blowing the uh, left front fuse. Put that batten down. Two fuses in there. One for the left. One for the right. Let's check our hood fitment here. Easy. Well, it looks a little wide. Might have to loosen those up and bring it in a little. Got the uh, splash panel back in and uh, the hood down on her. Thanks for watching. Took about uh, a little over three hours. Never hit it too hard. But uh, yeah, it was a ballast and headlight bulb repair. Pull the front bumper, pull this headlight out. And like I said, the worst part was these. One screw up here on the other side was the worst because of the washer bottle, but the rest of it's just a lot of nuts and bolts, plastic clips. Anyway, the short of the long is it blew the fuse again. So I'm going to have to go back in there. And I don't know if it's just the motors, the thing follows your steering. But with the headlight unplugged, it will not blow a fuse. But it did, the thing did light up. It has the motors that swing the headlight left and right. And uh, there's a small harness on the, on the light fixture itself. Could be a short in that. But it did light up. But uh, I don't know, I may, I may buy a whole assembly with the harnesses and 
everything and swap it out and see what happens but that's how you got to get to it anyway I get to do it again apparently I don't know what to replace yet there is a high voltage tension wire that runs from the ballast to the headlight I did not replace that and then like I said there's a small harness uh, that runs that there's also a control module on the side of that box I assume that controls that steering headlight but I may just buy a used uh, complete unit if I can find one of those. I don't think there's any warranty left on it. It's just 2017, 52,000 miles. It's kind of disappointing. But if anybody needs to know how to put one together, that's it. Like and subscribe. We'll do it again.